so hi everyone welcome back to my channel and i guess i wanted to just let you know that um today well this week you're gonna be seeing me working on my project although i know i've been saying i've been wanting to work on project beautiful but project beautiful i don't know i'm not feeling it too much no more and i feel like project beautiful has like some things that i need to work on but Project Odo, um, I like the the beginning of the story and how it formed and like what it's about. I mean, it's not about a good thing; it's about heartbreak. But I mean, I like the way that I I, I wrote it. So I'm gonna continue to work on that, and hopefully, like everything work comes together because I know that I am working on something that I'm passionate about and I like. I mean, I'm passionate about Project Beautiful, but it needs to take a back seater because I'm kind of running out of ideas and stuff of what to put into that book. But with Project Odor, I'm reading, rereading it again and trying to rework the scenes to make it better for myself. Um, another thing I wanted to update you on was the fact that um, my cover designer she sent me another sketch of how she um how the um characters are looking. She showed me their skin color. Um, I like them. And I like the setting that they're in. And how Jeremy and um, Afu are in close proximity to each other. So, like, yeah, I'm I'm happy about that. Um, what else can I say? Um, my book is still with my editor, Becoming a Fool Ose. And, yeah, I'm really happy that um, I'm able to, like, make an impact with my book. And I'm hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes out in a few months. I can't really say the exact deadline yet because I need the book back and I need to at least have um have the edits done. But I was wondering, like, once you get your um once you get your copy and line edits back from your editor, how do you accept all changes that the um the editor makes so that the book can um so that it can be faster for you when it comes to like editing that part of the book? Because already the developmental was really difficult for me. So I know that I, I trust that she has a, a good idea of what um, my book should be headed. So I'm going to still reread the book though. But um, I'm still trying to figure out like the logistics of everything. How how the, um, the edits are going to go and how everything is going to come together. But other than that, I'm really happy. I'm anxious though to get it back <laughs> because I'm like thinking to myself, wow, like you made a whole entire book and your book can come out anytime now from now. But um, I'm really proud of myself for everything that I'm doing and everything I'm working on. And hopefully you already seen my other video about um how God called me to write my book. Um, It was like something that... um. I got inspiration from from somebody else that I saw um writing um not writing a book but having inspiration about their walk in God and I just wanted to experience um express myself about how my walk with God encouraged me to like write a book. So if you've watched it and been blessed by it, thank you so much. I haven't seen the comments yet because the video hasn't come out yet at the time of this recording. But I'm um, I'm just so happy that I was able to be influenced to like come out with that. But um, other than that, I'm really happy about the progress I've been making and the fact that I didn't give up even when I wanted to give up. So yeah, that's all for now. A few moments later. Guess what, everyone? I have copyrighted my work. I know that I should have copyrighted Drive Positivity a long time ago, but um, it's taken me now to do it, and I'm so proud of myself for doing it. So when my next book comes out, I'm going to also copyright that book before it gets out in the world. And yeah, I'm very proud of myself. And yeah, if you have work of art, like any work that you want to copyright, you should copyright it on this website copyright.gov don't go on any other website just this website alone will help you and the the fee was $65 which I was like 
dang, this is a lot of money <laughs> for me. But um, I'm proud of myself, so yeah. So in this clip, you see me working on my project, um, Project Odor. I used to work on Project Beautiful, but that's a whole long story. Um, I guess I I should say that um, I kind of lost hope in Project Beautiful a little bit. And I wanted to regain, revisit Project Odor because I know that that story is a little bit stronger and has more of a word count than Project Beautiful did. So I just decided to like do what's best for me and try to change up, well, read up on Project Odor to change it a little bit and then see if I can make that into a book. Um, it's going so well, but I haven't really touched it in a few days because <laughs> it's been busy and I've been going to an event and stuff. So I haven't really been focusing on it, but I'm really happy to say that I'm actually working on, I'm going to start working on it probably this week or probably will reread it and revisit it probably this week and stuff. So it's kind of good that I'm working on it. But I know that I have to. I have more work to do as far as when the edits for becoming a fool Ose comes back. Um, I want to have the book come sometime in the couple coming months. I don't want to put a definitive date yet in case like some things don't go as pan. Uh, it doesn't pan out as planned. I mean, so like I don't know. It's been a lot of work to like get my book to come out i already have certain stuff that i'm supposed to do but yeah it's kind of like it's kind of like it's going i'm going through the process of a lot of things so i'm just trying to like make sure that i'm am able to publish the book in a specific amount of time and also like with my book cover it's not finished yet i know it's been a long time coming but um so I'm just trying to like make sure everything falls in line before I give a, a definitive date. I have one in my mind, but I haven't really spoken it out to a lot of people yet. Um, I I know you seen in the last clip that I got my copyright for Jar of Positivity. Um, I know it's been a long time coming. Um, I don't know why I waited so long to do it. Um, it the only thing that happened was. I just didn't have the money at the time and I still don't have the money at the time, but I still was able to, um, to save up some money so I can be able to copyright my own book. And I'm going to do the same thing for becoming a fool, say in my future books that I come out with. But, um, yeah, I'm so happy that a lot of things is going well with, um, me and my book making journey, <laughs> my, my publishing journey. Um, yeah, I'm very proud of myself for making the progress that I've done. And it's not the end of it all. I'm going to keep on going, even if, like, nobody is watching. Because, like, sometimes I, I be feeling like, wow, my views is not really hitting the same way it used to hit. And why is that? And I don't know, maybe my my channel is not doing well because of, um, I'm not using this, the right keywords or maybe people are not being notified when my videos come out. But um, hopefully I can change that and hopefully with perseverance and consistency, I can continue to make um, quality content for you all, for you all that are able to to, to, to still watch my videos. Um, I'm so happy that I'm, I'm creating this book and Becoming a Full Say is my passion project. Um, I know it's near and dear to my heart because of like certain experiences that I've had in my life that contributed to me writing this book. But um, I'm just trying to like do the best that I can do for myself so that I can be happy about my progress and be happy about myself. I mean, I, I'm just worried about how people are going to perceive the book. They might say that, the book is too personal and that it talks about certain things that I shouldn't be talking about, but I feel like it's necessary to talk about mental health 
especially in a black community when you see a lot of people just suppress their feelings and don't tell their parents especially in the african community as well where the parents just um don't want you sorry don't want you to talk about your feelings and like make you suppress your feelings because they feel like oh it's gonna bring abomination to the family or you're you're gonna bring shame to onto the family but it's just you have to express yourself to people that you love first and then if they don't receive it well then you have to go and get professional help because if you let your feelings fester you're gonna get depressed you're gonna get anxiety and it messes up into so many mental illnesses that we see come about and you see people that need the help that's not getting the help and i know prayer works but like you also have to know that god gave people the opportunity to make us get help with medicines and therapy and stuff like that so i'm just saying that to say that we were working i'm working hard on this book and i'm gonna hopefully come out with it in a few months time I don't want to wait all the way into 2025 to publish it because I want to publish other work in 2025. But I'm I'm just seeing how things go. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below what you can think I can do better in my book to make it come out well. And with that being said, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, bye. <laughs>